G'day guys, welcome back to Organic Power. Today I'm building my off-grid pre-charge circuit. So I use this 200 watt 30 ohm resistor to pre-charge the capacitors in the inverter and MPPTs before switching the DC breakers. It stops the huge inrush current and is safer and prolongs the life of your units. So to operate the pre-charge circuit, we'll turn this switch on, which will bring on the red indicator, and there'll be zero volts on the controller, on the capacitor load side. Then we'll press your pre-charge button. The 52 volt threshold will be met here, switching the relay, bringing on your green LED. Uh, then the DC breakers to your battery and inverters can be switched without uh, the massive arc and uh, huge current inrush. The first thing I'll do is mark out the cable penetration and the mounting holes for these indicators. Got a small drill bit here, about the same size as the shaft that runs down in between the threads. Should be perfect. Perfect. These are just a 12 volt navigation light for a boat. It's just a cost effective option. They're nice and small to fit on the side of this panel. I 
I'll use a step drill to enlarge on this hole here. This will allow the wires to be connected to the voltage controller. To get the controller to fit nicely on the panel underneath the push button, I have to remove this little tab. I'll do the same thing now to the DC to DC converter so it fits inside the push button box. Fitted the DC to DC converter there. Also had to file a little bit off the corner just to get it to fit so that your contact for the uh, switch there would fit down behind it. All fits really well though. So now I'll just add these wires to the push button and the on off switch and start connecting up the controller. got everything hooked up there now. Um, I've got the controller hooked up to the DC power supply on my bench here. 51 volts DC. So to pre-charge the circuit you'll turn the 
switch on, which will give you the red indicator saying don't switch the DC breaker because there's no voltage on the caps. So there's no voltage here. Once you push the pre-charge button, I haven't added the resistor in the circuit, it's just wired directly at the moment. So you push the button, you get the pre-charge, you see the 51 volts come up, then you know you're safe to switch the DC isolators. decided to mount the pre-charge circuit on this board it's very rarely used it's only for maintenance and if I need to use it on another system elsewhere I can take it over and, and use it there and it's going to clutter up the board too much really I was running out of room and sticking it next to the neutral link was going to look fairly crammed in so this is probably the best option to mount it on this board and couple of fly leads with the alligator clips it's very low current so, so alligator clips should be fine go from the battery side over to the inverter side and then to the MPPT side Using this force on a bit here to create a recess in the panel for the wires to come out behind the box. That hole will fit over the recess and the wires will be able to pass through the back of the box and then out that little hole, do a little gap here on the side. Alligator clips will just hang out there. Everything's now mounted to the board. Pre-charge resistor. Got our leads coming out. So your line in and your line out. Fuse protected there. Five amps. The resistor circuit draws 0.29 of an amp to charge the capacitors. So now that uh, I've finished building it, we'll take it down there and 
put it on the battery circuit and pre-charge. There's the pre-charge panel completed. We've got the panels isolated at the moment. So it's a good time to give it a test. I've put these uh, Bulldog clips on the end. We attach that straight to the M8 hex head nuts inside there. I'll we'll go ahead and give it a test. So I'll connect the negative cable to the negative terminal of the battery. And connect the positive cable to the positive terminal of the battery. And then grab the pre-charge leads. Connect the negative first of the pre-charge cable. And then the positive of the pre-charge cable. So now we can turn the unit on. You see there we have 3.3 volts on the MPPT. The brake is turned off, the inverter isolator is turned off. So now if you push the pre-charge button, it will pre-charge the capacitors in the MPPT through the resistor at around 0.3 amps until the threshold is met and the green light is indicated. So now it's safe to close the breaker without drawing a massive current. So I'll repeat that process on the inverter breakers now. So now if I move the pre-charge leads over to the inverter breaker. That's the negative, the inverters. And there's your positive in the inverters. So now we're charging from the battery to the inverters through the pre-charger. So we turn the pre-charger on again. There's zero volts on the inverters. Push the button, start charging. There we go, that's full charge now. 54.9, safe to close the breaker. You get no arc, no inrush. Nice and smooth, nice and safe. There we go, what a gem. The pre-charge board works perfectly. So much more gentle on the equipment to pre-charge before closing a big breaker like that. The inrush into the capacitors is huge. It can uh, end up doing some damage. You're also drawing a huge arc across the terminal of your DC breakers. So it's a win-win having a pre-charger. All right, thanks for watching everyone. Like and subscribe. Let us know what uh, you'd like to see in future videos in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one.